hey guys welcome back to my channel it's lolo beauty and before we get started i just want to say everything this video is alleged so i don't know if you guys heard but leticia and marcel scott are being sued for almost a million dollars like eight hundred and something thousand dollars i'm just gonna say this you never will win when you're playing dirty I don't know. Um, I don't know if what the people are saying are true, but if it is, um, they are in, in serious trouble. We clearly see that they took out two PPP loans for the business and they, they haven't paid their debt to the other companies. So it definitely looks like they've been doing shady business, but I'm going to tell you something. When the season first started, Melody and Martell was the ones on top. And then when Martell infidelity rumors start coming out a little bit, and they seen um how Melody and Martell was eating so good. I'm sorry, Letitia and Marceau to me was trying to keep up. The next season they was building their house from scratch. You know, they went and got that bar. Um, they, they just had been doing crazy stuff, making investments and, you know, doing all kind of um, business deals and growing. But I, I love to see black people grow. So I genuinely thought that they were just hustling harder. But literally, if they are doing shady business, that is not okay. Because the way Letitia acting and the way Marceau been acting towards Melody and um, Martell and talking all this junk about everybody and keeping all their lies and stuff buried underneath the ground and acting like their marriage is crystal clean when everybody in Huntsville know it's not. That is an issue. That's an issue. Because some businesses you can't put underground. You cannot mess with the law. You cannot mess with the government. You cannot be getting PPP loans and really not paying people. That's not okay. So I pray that, you know, they win this lawsuit. But if they been shading people, I'm telling you, I feel like you never can win when you play dirty. Karma will get you some kind of way, some kind of, you know, just some kind of way. I truly feel like that this, I'm not even into this season because Marceau and Letitia are not being transparent about the issues they got in their marriage. And now it's coming out that y'all are not even being honest about y'all financial situation. That is, that's, that's horrible. That is horrible because you went from the first season of, you know, your wife want to, you remember Letitia was saying she don't want to be a stay at home mom. She want to contribute and help, you know, and do this and that and i just remember them really just you know making good money but not where they are now i thought it was because of the show's success but pulling out ppp loans is basically you know something you do when your business was suffering during the pandemic which that could have had been you know the case but you still have to pay people you cannot be doing shady business and think that no one's going to find out Cause you've been shady in your marriage and now you've been shady in business. Y'all been shady friends and now everything is about to start coming to the light. Y'all let me know down in the comment section, what y'all think about them owing almost a million dollars. Like, because if this true guys, all I can say is the fraud, the fraudness of it all, the judgment of it all. The way that y'all been looking down on Martell and Melody and the way y'all been just acting real snobby and don't want to admit anything in y'all marriage and on TV just hiding and covering up stuff when we can see there's problems in paradise, which I don't even know why they own Love and Marriage Huntsville if they're not going to be transparent. It's almost like everybody is throwing on the show is throwing rocks at Melody and Martell for them really living out their real life on tv but almost throwing it from a glass house and not even taking ownership that they you know need help too that they all go going through things too but instead they're hiding the things they're going through and basically you know just want to sit around and talk about the things that melody and martell are going through martell's fine uh, financial situation and um how melody isn't a good friend just want to talk about their 
you know, failed marriage, but don't want to talk about what's going on in y'all marriage. People that like to deflect on other people, it's an issue within their self and, and, and within their home. So always remember that when a person wants to sit around and talk about somebody else's marriage and talk about everybody else, but they don't never talk about themselves and what they got going on, don't trust them. The water ain't clean. Them be the people that have more problems and be the most shady than everybody in the whole group to me. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think, but I don't know.